What's up guys and welcome back to Pop Beat Breakdowns. For today's beat breakdown video today, I thought I would do a Billie Eilish type beat that I recently made. This is in the genre of contemporary R&B or alternative pop. More specifically, I have modeled this beat off of a hit song, Lost Cause. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is breaking down the beat that I've made and telling you how I made it and different elements I added at certain points to build this track from the ground up. So if you are new to this channel, now is your chance to quickly smash the subscribe button as it's the best way to support the channel and make sure you never miss of another video like this but with that mandatory out of the way let's not waste any more time let's get into logic and let's break down this beat Okay, so we are now in Logic and this is the beat for the Billie Eilish Lost Cause type beat that I made. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to break it down instrument by instrument, how I added it, because one of the biggest challenges when you're learning and refining your craft as a music producer is learning a way that suits you to build tracks up and understanding how to actually build a track from the ground up. So I always start with the first instrument that I added in able to create this track. Today, we are starting from the drums. What I like to do is I like to keep everything how I added it. So this is the order down of how I added everything. So you can really get an idea how the track's built. So firstly, we started with the drums because if you listen to Billie Eilish Lost Cause, what I like about this song, it's got a tiny bit of swing to it, but it's really simple and relies heavily on the vocals. So even though this is a beat breakdown video, this there isn't a lot to this production, but that's kind of good because we can overcomplicate it sometimes. So we started today with the drums and I actually used the Logic Slow Jam drums in order to create the drums I wanted. The only thing that I've got going on here is I've bussed all my drums together and I really wanted to make them sound a little bit more boxy because this song had a little bit of a boxy sort of like saturated feel to it. So I've really boosted the high end and mid range quite a lot in order to achieve that. So we started with drums, a shaker and a double layer of snare. So the first thing I did was the kick and snare hit or rim hit rather very simple and with that I added in a shaker what I love about the shaker is this is from the drummer so those of you who maybe don't know drummer it's when you up open a new track in the corner here drummer is one of the options you can have and this is basically a drum machine so it's a really good way to create shakers really quickly and it really speeds up your workflow so again I wanted to keep it simple so I just added the shaker in which has a hi-hat blended into it and I actually today kept the fills in so we get this nice little feel at the end because I just feel like it helped the song and I've also added a swing as well to it so this is what's going to help create the swing for the song so again the drummer in Logic is an absolute game changer for the drums if you correctly and I just layered that with another snare from the slow jam which has gone for the same kit today because I wanted to give it a sort of like a live feel I wanted the drum kit to really sound like it was in the room when you're listening to it so there we go easy and then that's the drum sorted very simple today now next we go on to the bass now you can use the soul bass for this or the solid soul bass which you can find right here but today we actually used contact and we used the Rickenbacker bass today to create the bass sound that we wanted now if you listen to the Lost Cause song that's out you'll know it's got a really nice swing to it a nice bounce really rhythmic groovy very R&B so I had to try and create that using MIDI as well it was going to be a challenge so I'm going to show you what we've had to do to create that sort of effect so with the Rickenbacker bass this is the bass sound I came up with And what I really love about the Rickenbacker bass, by the way, is when you overlap MIDI, it creates that slide note, which makes the bass sound so much more real. That's something you don't get with the Logic basses, which I really wish you did. So you can see, like, I've got a couple of overlaps here, hammer-ons to go up, especially down, you really heard it right at the end here. Having them two notes very close coinciding with each other creates that nice little slide note. So that's really cool, and that's one thing that's really cool about MIDI and how far it's come so we can really make MIDI stuff sound a lot more real so that's basically our rhythm section the only thing I did layer it as well with to give it a little bit more low end because Billie Eilish songs they sound really dark and they have a lot of sub to them and almost a little bit messy so I wanted to make this track sound a little bit more messy so I added the 90s stereo synth bass from retro synth and I've massively turned up the low end for the bass and this is just playing the root note to accompany the bass guitar that we've got 
So if we were to just play these two with the bass, and hopefully you got headphones on for this, I don't know if you'll hear the sub in iPhone or whatever Android device you're listening on, but you might. So let's have a listen to this. <laughs> get the idea so the next thing that we need to add now is when i listen to the song you can hear there is some bells so i wanted to add some bells in i kind of liked the sort of delicate brightness to add because so far like it's very mid and low heavy so this is just something different in the mix to add a little bit more of the high end so we started with the dreamy music box just playing a random melodic patterning keeping it very simple And it's a descending one as well, because the melody for the this bell synth in the actual Lost Cause song was a descending melody as well. And I just layered that with lights and mirrors, again playing the roots at each point, just to create something different. And something a little bit more legato that sustains. This helps create atmosphere. And the reason why I kept this long as well is because it also covers a lot more of the, the emptiness that we have and the brightness of the track at the moment because everything's very mid to low heavy. So adding in this with a chorus, by the way, I've pretty much pushed them right out to the side. It's got a 76% mix, a rate of 0.33, which means that basically the the audio signal is going to be pushed out to the sides in the mix, but because the, the rate isn't too high, it will sound like it's just been split across two and it's not going to sound too modulated. So that works really well, creates a little bit of space in the middle, and again, we're covering the, the brightness. So when you add all this together that we've got so far, you'll hear that the track slowly starting to come in together more. It's always really hard when you create beats, but you, you've always got to try and imagine that the vocalist is already in there. So when I create separation, when I'm making beats, it's with in mind that I need to leave a gap in the middle of the track free or the middle of the mix, stereo image, because that's where the vocal is going to be. And we want the vocal to stick out in this instrumental. So that's a bit of advice if you're putting an instrumental, always consider where the vocal is going to be in the mix when it comes to mixing. And for this case, I think it'll be a female vocal, which really resonates around, you know, the 5K mark, 2 to 5K, maybe a little bit higher. That's more male. So 3 to 6K, we could say, for the female vocal. So you want to keep that free. So the bells is going to be something that hovers just above the vocal, but I made sure that it's not too harsh in them frequencies because we want the vocal to really cut through, which means the last thing now that we need to add is a little bit more sustenance to the production, a little bit more meat to make it sound like an overall bigger production so this is when i add in chords for an electric piano and bass so first what we're going to do is we're going to play the electric piano again very simple this is just the chords of the song but we've got two electric pianos today so we've got the bright suitcase which is a preset in logic and the wide suitcase which is also a preset in the vintage electric piano it's in the exact same uh, preset library in Logic, so you can find this very easy, blend them together, again I say this in all my videos and I can't emphasize it enough, for originality and to really get the best out of your production skills you've got to be blending sounds together to create something original, otherwise you'll be spending hours looking for the exact sound that you want. So this saves so much time and it's just a way, way to go about it and I just layered that now with a pad again because we're thinking more of the warmth in the track because it's a very saturated boxy track. The Billy Eilish was course one, so I wanted to bring that across. So I added the dark background with the electric suitcase, and I think actually this is playing higher, just a little bit higher. So now we've covered all of the frequency spectrum, and I love that little major twist at the end because it's a very minor song, but I wanted to throw in that E major at the end because it gives that a nice major lift and it gives a little bit of something extra to the track. So that's why I don't know. I could have gone for the chord pattern because it's A minor, G, F, and then E. So if I was to go for the normal C major scale, I'd be going A minor, G, F, E minor, and I'd be using just white keys on the keyboard, but just throwing in that little black key from the E major, just it just really spices things up and sort of jazzes the whole production. Up. Very simple, but very effective. Now there's only a couple more things at this point that I've added extra. This is the first thing that I added. This is just my favorite little glaze, which you may have seen in some previous videos. If you subscribe recently, you've been watching my videos, you would recognize this. This is a Native Instruments plugin, 
and it basically takes vocal and turns it into synth or it's vocal based synth uh, it's called glaze you can get it for about 40 quid in a sale and worth every penny honestly worth every penny so i just wanted something a little bit more with grit to add into this production so that's where this came from and it's really cool again push it to the side to mix using a chorus because we're really thinking about the vocal here we're trying to leave as much space as possible for the vocal now there's only one more thing i added for a bit of development for the end of the track and that is acoustic guitar so we've gone into contact and we're using again native instruments we're using the black jack from strummed acoustic 2 and we're using a couple of variations of that we've got two muted versions or very simple and then one open strummed basically just layered together playing the chords this is just to add something different mainly because in Billy Eilish Lost Cause that's in there as well so I'll quickly play you this so this is the first layer playing the muted second one and the third one so separately they all were very different put them together you've got one nice big acoustic guitar sound And what's really cool is for the panning, I've sampled delayed one of them. So it is predominantly more biased to the right, but sample delay creates that spread effect again. So I've got one sample delay to the right, one to the left. So there's a slight bias from these two muted strum patterns, but they're both either side of the ear. Create separation and space in the mix, but it also makes the guitar sound a lot bigger. And then for the last one, the strummed acoustic guitar, I really wanted this to take over when it came in. So in the actual plugin, I have doubled it. So it is at the sides of the mix, makes it sound bigger. So when the acoustic guitar comes in, you get this real lift for the final chorus. So let's not waste any more time. That is the production. I'm going to play it from the start here so you can hear this production in full effect. That was my beat breakdown of Billie Eilish Lost Cause and a contemporary R&B type beat. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button right now as it's the best way to support the channel and any future videos. Make sure that you do not miss them. But till the next video, guys, keep making music and I will see you in the next video.